Hi and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully uh, last year you managed to get this deal on uh, Humble Bundle for the IK Sound Suite software bundle uh, which included Sample Tank 4 Max version 2 and an absolute ton of other items that came with it. So by the time you're watching this, this offer will have finished. So unfortunately, if you didn't get it, then you have missed it. Not to panic because you can actually still get Sample Tank for Max on IK Multimedia's website for 50 euros, which is approximately 41 pounds or 52 dollars. I am just going to go through what you actually need to do to get started and then I'm going to show you all the items that you get in this pack. So the new sample tank for Max version 2 now packs all 88 sample tank products. This includes 28 sample tank 4 libraries previously sold separately, the 34 cents from Syntronic 2 and Sampletron and the full version of Miroslav Philharmonic 2. It's still included in the complete Sample Tank 4 factory content, along with all legacy Sample Tank 2 and 3 factory content, plus every legacy Sample Tank 3 library for a massive 600 gigabyte of sounds and over 18,000 instruments. So it's worth buying this purely for the kind of Syntronic synths. If you can imagine like Sample Tank being a bit like analog lab and that all these kind of things you can play within Sample Tank, but it has two standalone VSTs as well, and that is the Sampletron and Syntronic. It's worth buying just to get all the Syntronic stuff because it is a bit like Arturia's V collection. So you're getting 34 synths and they are reimagined analog and digital and hybrid synths. And then Sampletron has about eight or nine different synths uh, uh, kind of versions within that as well. Also, they're not all instruments. You get sample packs as well. So that there's the Hitmaker series, the Electronica series, the other one of the other main ones which they haven't really kind of grouped together is the uh, the mojo synthesis so they are really cool and uh, that includes things like vector vision the alien harbors ring of doom circuit damage and swarm and then you've got the cinekinetic fractured piano shipwreck piano mallet tension and mallet topia so they're all kind of within this group and then you've got the electronica sample so you've got chill out deep house drum and bass hardcore indie dance minimal techno and trance and then the hitmaker series which you've got edm reggaeton synthwave and trap so they are all samples and then you've got things like future synths uh, alternate keys one of the other best ones is the resonator which is a steel kind of guitar and it is flipping brilliant so there's also a few kind of drum programs as well you get billy cobham the bionic the grid hugh padham neil Peart, the code volumes one and two and terry bozia and then there's some orchestral stuff and it's all mixed up in here as well they haven't kind of grouped it so you get cinematic percussion the alternate keys extraterrestrial sax for some reason there's the miroslav philharmonic there's orchestral perks and salsa perks so the good thing is that you don't have to obviously download them all you can just download whatever you want because this does take a while i'm still working my way through it so the first thing you need to do is obviously create an account with ik multimedia you'll need that first because you do need to download the product manager so this we're on version 1.1.7 and you obviously get this for windows and mac so if we compare this to uh, native instruments the product manager is like native access or arturia's kind of software center as well so it's uh, same idea you can just download and install everything from the one app and it has worked fairly well like i said the only problem is that some of the libraries are absolutely mahusive and uh, it will take a while you only need to download the stuff that you actually want and if you don't like it you can just delete it once you've downloaded it as well so this is the first thing you need to do so you need to get that set up and like i said it was fairly painless so i'm going to close down safari and then we will have a look at the project manager So here we are in the IK product manager and uh, let's say it is quite similar to Arturia's. Unfortunately, you can't stop this scrolling at the top, which is a bit annoying. So this is your home page. You've got some settings there as well. You've got FAQs, manual and video tutorials. You've got a rescan 
uh, and then you've got your account as well uh, and then you have got your notifications so in the home page you have the software the sounds and if you have any hardware i came out at media do media controllers and a couple of synths as well the media controllers are kind of obviously geared up to use sample tank so i might get one in future so, software okay. Um, you can see what I have installed. So Centronic is the main feature of Sample Tank and it has 34 cents and it works in Sample Tank or as a standalone VST. Sample Tron, I'll have a look at that later on. Uh, that is the other kind of main standalone VST and then you've got the Sample Tank for Max version 2 app as well. And then Miroslav Philharmonic as well. I have not installed the instruments for that because they are mahusive so yeah so things like tone x and amplitude are kind of more geared towards guitars and the things you've got like basses and some drums as well so you can try some of these other ones as well there's trials there so you can trial the the arc system 4 the hammond b3 and some of these other things track six so that is your kind of main software the list of ones so you can either install all or obviously install these separately and uh, like i said it takes up 600 gigabyte and to be honest i have not got 600 gigabyte free so i had watched a video on the resonator on youtube and it was brilliant so that is uh, that was a good one the, the ob1 is oberheim and you've got the J60, the Prophet V, the Oberheim OXA, the Jupiter 8, the Juno 60, Stage 73 Mark IV. Sampletron 2 is the uh, the kind of only thing I've had a problem with. So the presets in the standalone version are not showing up. They show up in Sample Tank, but not in the standalone version. So I have emailed IK Multimedia. So hopefully they'll get back to me about that and I can fix it because I would like to use the Sample Tron 2 as a standalone VST. So the Mojo Synthesis are, are really cool and I, I certainly recommend downloading some of these. So there's five of them and I have downloaded three. So there's also Ring of Doom and Swarm. So I've got those um, and they were uh, a few gigabytes, so they weren't too bad. There's some of the Hitmaker uh, samples. So I've downloaded Synthwave and then there's future synths and then electronica trance techno deep house and chill out so there's bionic drums and beat machines uh, just to so i can kind of test out some of the drums and then there's art deco piano uh, which is very nice and alternate keys which is a lot of orchestral instruments so you can see there's lots more of the hitmaker stuff that i haven't downloaded yeah so you can see the size of some of these the Miss miroslav philharmonic 2 is 46 gigabyte the, uh, the, the CE is the classic edition, so I might download that because that's only 9 gigabyte. Uh, and then you've got Centronic. If you wanted to download the whole of Centronic at once, it's 100 gigabyte. You can see I kind of started doing it and then realized it was going to take forever. I watched a few videos about this and a guy said it took him three days to download everything. It would take you three days to download everything because you have to kind of do it in chunks. So that is the product manager. And like I said, it has been working all right. Like I said, the only thing that hasn't worked is sample tron but it's downloaded for some reason it just can't find um, the samples so it's a bit like native access you have to set a path for the software to find the samples So this is the last part of this intro video to Sample Tank and we are actually in Sample Tank 4. There's kind of three main parts up here uh, so you've got your kind of part mode uh, you've got your layer editor and you've got your mixer. This is the live mode, which you don't really kind of use obviously very much. And then this is your save as an initialize menu there. You've got other things like your um, global play, your host sync and your uh, tempo. So we could drag that down to say, uh, just bring it down to a hundred and then we can pick a key as well. So we could go to C and then that's your level meters for each part so you can have up to eight in here and uh, the uh, the layer editor you can adjust the keyboard splits by adjusting those two controls there and then you've got a high and a low velocity as well so that is pretty cool so you can have up to eight instruments going at any one time and you can latch these as well so that is the top menu and down the bottom we have edit instrument the effects rack and the groove players 
you can actually bring in patterns. So these are some of the ones that have been installed through the, um, the instruments. So you've got acoustic drums, beat machines, bionic drums, uh, and then within these, you've got a few subcategories. You've got cinematic percussion, future synths, uh, the hit maker, and the resonators. And then you can drag these over to the different parts of the keyboard here. And then you can trigger them and adjust the speed here. And you've got intensity, humanize and swing and transpose and quantize there. So the groove player has three versions as well. So it has a phraser, a strummer and an arp. So if we go to the arp, you can see, and I'm gonna go over this in a separate video. And obviously for something like a guitar, you could put in uh, a strum pattern like that as well. So we can clear that one there. So for instance, in the arpeggiator, there is presets there for eighth dotted, eighth triplets, uh, eighth and then sixteenths, and then 30 second as well. So there's a couple of patterns there and you can just create your own. And like I said, I will have a look at this in a separate video. So I, I paid 25 pounds on Humble Bundle for this whole package and it was obviously well worth it. So as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share and comment. And I will see you in the next one of quite a few of these.